all right guys welcome back to day five and uh, let's recap actually what we did yesterday so yesterday we learned about the buttons and how to convert an actual uh, image into a button and when we click on it uh, how to actually execute a function or what how to make a button do something so we created this play underscore button function and we printed out this text now today is a really exciting day because we are finally going to be learning how to play music uh, using Python and then finally uh, making sure that when we press this play button some music is being played. So how are we going to do that? We are going to use this package it's called Pygame. Uh, it's called Pygame. Let me uh, let me just write it for you. It's called Pygame. P Y G A M E. So this package, uh, obviously with its name, it says that it's used to create games. And if you're interested in this kind of uh, like game creation and stuff, uh, comment below. I'll uh, try to make some 30 day challenge for gaming as well, how to create games using Python. But for now, just we are going to use a part of this Pygame package known as the Mixer, M-I-X-E-R. So we are gonna use the Mixer, which is responsible in gaming for audio and sound effects. So we, basically we can use this Pygames uh, Mixer class to make sure that the audio is being played inside, inside our Python code. And that's our main aim. So what we are going to do is first we are going to install this Pygame package. And that's pretty simple. And uh, even if you are not using PyCharm, if you are using PyCharm, just follow along to what I do. Uh, and if you're using something else, just uh, pip install py, uh, not pycharm, just pip install pygame and you should be good to go. So for me, I'm going to go to settings, then go to the project interpreter in project melody. We are going to go to project interpreter and then I've already installed this pygame, but if you haven't, click on this plus icon and then type in pygame. And this is the first one that you have to install. As you can see in description, it says Python game development. I mean, I've already installed it, so I'm not going to install it again, but you can just click on it and just click on install package. And yeah, if you're not using PyCharm, just pip install PyCharm, uh, PyGame, not PyCharm. I don't know why I keep saying PyCharm, PyCharm. It's such a good name though, right? PyCharm. Anyways, yeah, so just install PyGame and you should be good to go. And after that, we are going to import this PyGame. And from Pygame, we don't want all of Pygame because Pygame is a pretty big package. We just want one element from Pygame and that is called the mixer, which is responsible for playing audio clips. And uh, because we are going to be doing a lot of things, for example, changing the volume and uh, stopping the music, pausing the music, and uh, we're going to do all this stuff. So we require a little bit of high level kind of a package um, for a music player and mixer from Pygame is perfect for that. So after importing this mixer from Pygame, we have to first initialize this mixer. Otherwise it's not going to work. So I'm just going to below this uh, root pk, I'm just going to write mixer.init and then brackets, which stands for basically initialization. Let me actually add a comment over here. Initializing, I don't know if the spelling is correct or not. Initializing, I, I think there's something wrong with initializing, right? Man, I'm fucking up the languages, huh? Let's actually search on Google what's the correct spelling for initializing. Um, all right. Initializing. Oh, wow. So I entered it correct while Googling it, but I fucked it up while writing in PyCharm. Perfect. So we're just going to write initializing uh, the mixer. All right, after initializing the mixer, what we are going to do is uh, to play the music. Actually, we need some kind of uh, some kind of an audio clip over here in Melody Project. Obviously, uh, when we have created the perfect music player, we can browse to whatever music you want to and then play the music. But for now, I'm just going to paste some music over here. And let's see if we have some music. Um, where should I get the music from? All right, I think I think I think uh, I have this journey dot wave that I have music uh, and I'm just going to paste it in this melody folder. All right, now we have this journey.wav file and we can just, um, yeah, use this journey.wav file. So, but before we actually get into the play music part, I just want to change some uh, variable names because right now they are very vague 
like button, photo, and because we'll be adding a lot more stuff. So it's gonna get difficult for us to recognize what is what. So I'm just going to let it uh, be text because that's fine. But this one, I'm just going to change it to play photo. All right, and then obviously we'll have to change this also to play photo. And this instead of button, we are going to write play and then capital B, play button. And then we'll have to also change this uh, button dot back over here. All right, uh, it's not that much of a change. And actually, let me also change the function name because uh, it doesn't sound good. Play button, play music. Yeah, that sounds a lot better. Speed to play music. All right. Oh, the function name we should be lowercase. So actually, let me just change it to play music and play underscore music. Yeah, and uh, this looks good. So yeah, now we can start using the mixer uh, file and uh, not file, the mixer class and actually start creating something. So we have initialized the mixer over here and then to play the music, what we have to do is first load the file that we want to play in our case, it's journey.wave and after that we can play the file. So to load the file, we can just write mixer.music and then dot load. And then inside it, we have to write the path of the file name and name of the file name. In our case, it's inside a project folder of journey.wave. We can just write uh, journey.wave and that should be good. And after that, we can just write mixer.music.play because we have already loaded the file. Now we can actually play the file. So let me recap uh, what's, actually let me just, just play it and uh, see if it works or not first of all. All right, so let's play this button. And after playing this button, actually some music should start uh, going on in the background, which you should be able to hear. All right, so I'm using this uh, journey.wave. You can use any music file you want. You can paste any music file you want. I'm just using this file because it's copyright free and I won't get striked for it. Um, so that's why I'm using it. But anyways, as you can see, this works pretty well. So right now, let's actually remove this uh, text from here, which says this button works pretty well because we know it works pretty well because we can hear the music. All right, guys. Uh, so I think this was a decent enough big video for day five. Let me just quickly recap what we have done over here. All right. So in this video, basically learned how to implement some music, how to play some music using Python. And we have used Pygame for that. And most specifically, we have used a class called Mixer that is inside Pygame for playing some music inside our Python code. And this Mixer is also going to help us to pause the music, uh, to uh, increase or decrease the volume, to stop the music and do all kinds of crazy stuff. So after that, we have initialized the Mixer. It is very important to initialize, otherwise the rest of the things are not going to work. And then inside this play underscore music function, we have first loaded the file and then we have played the file, uh, which resulted in actually the music being played. So guys, this is enough for day five. In the next video, maybe we are going to add, I'm not sure, but um, I think we are going to add the stop button and actually learn how to stop the music. Uh, so I'll see you in the next video. That is the day six, if I'm not wrong. I'll see you tomorrow.